welcome, welcome back, back big, big mama, mama energy i'm Brittany, and i'm tia and today our topic is going to be would, would you, you date shoes? shoes ask yourself I'm, would you be honest <laughs> <laughs> um, so today we're just going to talk about, you know, would we date ourselves and just talk about like different perspectives, like in different aspects of life. Right. Because for me, I feel like, you know, it could fall under different situations, situ different situations, different Absolutely. scenarios or whatever. So, so we'll get into um, it. We're going to get into all of that. Yes. But before we do, go ahead and subscribe. subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Click that subscribe button. Also hit that bell so you can get all the notifications anytime we drop our new videos okay um welcome to any new subscribers um thank you thank you for joining us on our beautiful journey and we love to have you here okay we love to see it we welcome love to, to the see big it. mama tribe okay share tell a friend we yes love to have you. tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend mm -hmm. okay honestly um but yeah, so we're gonna just dive right into it, Get you know. Into it. Um, the reason things that kind of spark this whole conversation or topic is you know, we see things on social media. Um, I forgot what the guy's name is. We're not even gonna shout him out. Um, but mm -hmm. it's a guy that pretty much, you know, he talks about relationships. Um, really, he really from what I see, he always go in on women. He goes in on women. I'm sure you've seen him. Um, so in a mixture of a lot of things, you know, this whole thing with other people and the list and, you know, how you have all these requirements of what the opposite sex should be. Yeah. Um, do your list, like, do you match what's on your list? Like, right. is that list realistic? Right. So, um, we're just going to get into that and pretty much ultimately have you ask yourself, would you date would yourself? You? Like, would you date yourself? Okay, um, so me personally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. me personally, I feel like I'm a catch. I do feel like I'm a catch. So I will date myself. You would date you. To a certain like degree. And this is why I say this, because okay. I feel like I would never want to be with somebody exactly like me. Okay. And that's understandable. Yeah. But looking from the outside in, would you date yourself? Like, would do you think you're a presentable person to date? I, I absolutely, like, I I personally do. Yeah. I personally think that I am a great catch. I think that I am attractive. Okay. Um, I'm ambitious. You know what I'm saying? I'm smart. I'm intelligent. I feel like I bring a lot to the table. Um, I definitely would date myself. Um, and what are some things that you look for that somebody's bringing to the table? The same things, pretty much. Um, typically, like ambition, okay, loyalty. Um, as far as traits, when it comes, I mean, you have to be attractive, right? You know what I mean. I have to be attracted to, to you. You. Okay. you know what I mean. And I feel like attraction could be multiple. You know, a uh, multiple things. Yeah, multiple. Um, things it also it, it doesn't always have to be like looks. You don't have to be like perfect but you know as long as i find you attractive that's all that really matters right. um as far as a job like you need to have a job i mean you have to that's have okay. a job or like something you can't be you can't be a bar gotcha and what i mean is like you're just okay with not having anything Right. That's Completely that's what I mean. Because yeah. I know things happen in life and situations, but I feel like if you're to the point where you're extremely broke and, you know, you can't do anything, I feel like you shouldn't be dating. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I know that, you know, things happen in life, you know. Like, for instance, right now, currently, I don't have a job. You know what I mean? Right. But I'm not struggling. But you do thankfully. have a job. Well... I do have a job, but I don't have a job. You haven't started, but you have a job. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I actually. You've been offered. I, okay. So, yeah. I have a couple jobs at right. this point that I haven't started yet. But at the at the current time, I'm not working. Mm 
Um, and that this is what I mean by things happen. People, you know, are in between jobs at times. Right. Things happen. You quit jobs. Sometimes you get fired. Whatever the case may be. As long as the grind does not stop. Right. As long as it, you know what I mean, it's just like not... Oh, you're okay with just not having, not getting back out there or doing something, you know mm. what I mean? Whether it's you building for yourself, but I still feel like if you building for yourself and whatever you need to do, you need to have some type of income right. coming in. You know what I mean? That's just how I personally yeah. feel. And some people feel like, all right, well, I got unemployment coming in. And then there's that. I mean, I mean, some people are okay. <laughs> some people are okay with just collecting unemployment. Right. Me personally, y'all already, you know, from my video where I did quit my job before, mm -hmm. I couldn't, you know, wait around for unemployment to kick in. That's just not me. Like, I got things to do right, right here, right now. That's just it. It took a long time. And even still, I feel like unemployment is not enough. And that shouldn't I'm be. I'm grown as shit. That shouldn't be something that you're. That could be something Depending that. Depending You know, in that moment when you get fired, I'm not knocking that. You get your unemployment until right. you get your next job. But that just not shouldn't be your lifestyle, like your life goal. Like I'm just gonna rock out on unemployment right. until something you know comes through. Whenever it comes to, and maybe you're not even looking for a job. Right. Like you're just on unemployment, or you're just taking benefits from the state, and you're not actively searching for a job, and that's cool, and that's just your life. I wouldn't, I wouldn't date that. Right. Because that's not me. So I, I wouldn't date that. Because we, I'm, we're talking about this because that was actually a topic on the person, one of his videos. Mm -hmm. It was a young lady who was on unemployment and she was like, you know, pretty, pretty good with just being on unemployment. She was right. content with that. Right. Um, and she had like two kids and she lived with her mom and she was like, all right. Yeah, this is me, and I'm looking for a man I'm dating. Right. And me and Sissy was talking about, like, okay, why are you even dating? Right. Why are you dating? That's what it comes down to. Like, I personally, this is how I personally feel. I feel like if you're in situations like that, like, you're unemployed. You're collecting unemployment. You have two children. You live with your mother. You should not be trying to date anybody. You need to be getting your shit together. Right. Get your shit together yeah. first. You you definitely yeah. need to be getting your yeah. shit together. And she had nerve to ask this man, should she have expectations? You need to worry about yourself. Like, what are your expectations for yourself? Not your for kids. some other man. Like, you know what I mean? And your children. Like, <laughs> right. You have more things to worry about <laughs> than, like, dating. Than dating. Um... Yeah. So that's kind of what sparked this whole conversation up. And like I like I said, I feel like I definitely will would date myself um when it comes to like stability for sure. Um I'm a stable human being, I feel like, you know. Um <laughs> looks, I feel like I'm a catch. I feel like I'm attractive. I feel like I know how to dress. I carry myself well. Um you know, I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea because, you know, everybody may not like plush females. And that's cool, too. It's a lot that do them. Let's be clear. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? So, they're dead. Now, as far as, like I said, the reason that I probably wouldn't is because, like, I really wouldn't want to date somebody exactly like me. Right, you know right. what I mean? Because, let's be clear, we all have our, you know flaws and i'm not even gonna say that is necessarily flaws but we have like ways about ourselves that you know i don't know like me personally i i'm working on this though but i i express to y'all a lot that vulnerability was a like a big issue for me me being able to open up to people right. and things like that so um i feel like i'm a tough cookie when it comes to that sometimes but i'm definitely working on that okay um so communication is big i need somebody that's going to be able to you know communicate and talk to me mm -hmm. and um i feel like sometimes i shut down so i can't deal with another person that's that shuts down okay. um for the most part mm -hmm. but it is something i'm working on so i'm not going to necessarily say that it's a closed door because even if you're showing me that you're working towards something i'm okay with it you know what i mean right. I, I feel like when you're self-aware, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Would you date yourself? Would I date Would you myself? Date you? Um, <clears throat> damn, excuse me. 
<coughs> I would date me. Excuse me. Yes, I would date me. Um, I'm a complicated person. You know, I really am. Um, I'm Aquarius, so that should just tell you right there. But I would date myself. I, you know, do have goals and aspirations, and you know, it might change every now and again. Like if I'm in a job. Um, after a while, you know, I might get bored with that and I might want to learn something else. I mm -hmm. always, you know, am trying to learn new things. And, you know, sometimes I guess my, um, I get curious and I might want to switch careers. Mm -hmm. But all within having a job still. Like, I'm not going to just be at home not working, you know what I mean? And be cool with it. You know, even when we were quarantined, like, I was like, all right, well, for right now I can't, you know, I had a job, but it was on ice. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, why not sit back and have a break? But right. then once they open back see, up, that's something I'm that like, you couldn't help. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Like, and I enjoyed that. But I got <laughs> back into the swing of things, whatever. So yeah, I am ambitious when it comes to you know goals that I want to achieve. Um, I like to travel, you know. So I mean, and I'm a great mother. Um, I feel like I'm a great partner. Now, some things that I might not want to do is like I have a short fuse that I'm trying to work on. Like, mm -hmm. if somebody is pissing me off, it takes like some control to be like, okay, let me just think for a second mm -hmm. before I say. Sometimes I might just say it, you know. Sometimes I have a habit of just saying whatever's on my mind. Not always the best. So that would be the one thing that in a partner, I can't deal with. Like, I can't deal with somebody who don't think before they talk. Because now, me and you, <laughs> just spitting out sh it's right. not going to be a good thing you know so i personally need someone with a little bit more patience mm -hmm. and you know uh i guess yeah someone who can kind of like maybe i guess think about stuff before they say it mm -hmm. or take into consideration that i'm upset and be like all right she upset right now I'm going to let her cool off and then we can talk or what's really the issue. Like, you know, um, now the person I'm with now knows if I'm like acting like a brat, mm -hmm. they know. Like, all right, so what's wrong with you? <laughs> what you going through? Did like, you eat? Did you, you eat? Are you hungry? You, that? you know what I mean? Like, are you okay? Like, they know those signs. And I like that. That balance, balance me out is what I was looking for. I like that. Mm -hmm. So would I date somebody with a hot fuse? No, I can't because now we both in here. I can't do that. So that I am currently working on. That's mm -hmm. something that I'm working on myself um, in all areas. But as far as physical, you know, I am not everybody's cup of tea. And I probably won't be. And that's cool, too. I love me. I love the way I look, you know. So I would date myself and when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. um, I would date myself be, as well because, like, I do have um, goals in life that I want to achieve. I'm not just stagnant mm -hmm. and like, okay, this is good as it get. No, I'm trying to, you know, obtain some things that I don't have as well and figure out how to get those, you mm -hmm. know, and constantly working towards something. So, yeah, in that aspect, yes, I would date myself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, in this guy's video, he talks about, you know, pretty much... You have to be the equivalent of what you want. Right, of what you're looking for. What you're looking for. How do you feel about that? Um, I feel like he, that's true. And a lot of the things I agree with him about is just some stuff I disagree. But yeah, for the most part, if you are like not up to par in certain areas, why are you expecting this other person to be? Right. Like if you don't have a job... And, or and ain't looking for one. Mm -hmm. Why do you expect your partner, had, they have to have a job. Right. And they have to, or own a business. Mm -hmm. But you don't. And you, you know what I mean? Like right. your life is not even in order. You know, <laughs> I just don't understand. Your a lot, of, shout out, a lot of people fix it. do this though. And yeah. it's both parties. And that's what and he female. was talking about, I feel like. It's not just, you mm -hmm. know, a male thing. It's not just a female it's thing. It's not, yeah. You know, it's both. Unrealistic expectations yeah. is what, you know, that we're talking about and what that man was talking about. And that's true. A lot of people really want to live this crazy lifestyle that they cannot provide for themselves let alone yeah. another person and so now the average male or the average female is just not good enough for you right but you're um below it below you're average. below average it's crazy because it's people that's below average really treating people above average like, like they ain't shit like they ain't shit and i'm confused it's like nigga i am the prize like what 
No, and this and, is a problem. Like, this really is a problem. Yeah. It's a big problem. And I feel like it's social media has added to yeah, that. Yeah, because people faking and fraud. And you want these unrealistic things. It's like you don't even get that to on your own time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's, it's okay. I'm not saying don't have standards. But they need to be realistic mm -hmm. expectations. I feel like if you have, it, and this is, is it, hold yourself to the same standard. Right, right. If you're telling me this person needs to drive, you need you to You better drive. drive. That's the one thing, like, you don't even own the car, have never you owned a car. You don't even have a license. Like, license. Let's go. And this is speaking from, for, from yeah. somebody that don't know how I to don't drive. Have my license. I don't know how to drive. Right. I don't know how to drive either. And I'm not like, oh yeah, he gotta drive. He has to have a car. No, because I don't know how to drive either. We are from the city. Right. So, you know, I've been busting it or Uber, Lyft, whatever. And that's actually one of my goals. One of our goals. Oh, absolutely. So oh, it's happening. It's, it's happening. It's happening. Picture me rolling. Okay? Yeah. Honestly. But I'm not about to be like, oh, this man he has to have a car because, and, it, and that's just the thing. Like, it's nice when people drive, but why am I making that one of my expectations? I don't even, I don't drive. Now, right. when I do, okay, cool. Like, we need to drive. Right. You know what I mean? Like, let's do this. Um, yeah, that was a good a good uh, scenario when it comes to that. Yeah, I feel like you definitely mm -hmm. need to hold yourself to yeah. that same standard. Right. Like if 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 the person, you know, has or for instance, okay, you have a terrible relationship with your family. Right. Why do he need to have um, or she needs to have this perfect relationship with their right, family? Why do right. they need to be family oriented? Like Because you're not. Because you're not. And you're not trying to be. You don't talk to your You mom. don't even see you your kids. Exactly. You don't even have custody of your kids. <laughs> but yet this man has to be a family man. But you're not a family woman or whatever the case may be. Right. Like, you know, keep that same energy for keep yourself. Keep that same energy. You know, why wouldn't you want the same things for you? Exactly. You know what I mean? So you could bring that to the table. It's like, or people say, oh, yeah, they got to have their own place. But you don't have your own place. You don't have your own place. Like, and you're not even working towards that. You cool with sleeping on somebody's couch. You definitely um, have I don't understand. to have goals. And this is why we say, would you date you? Would you date you? Would yeah. you date you? Yeah. It's really a look in the mirror. You got to take a long, hard look in the mirror mm -hmm. with self and be like, look, am I up to par? Like, am I doing what I need to do in life? Right. You know, am I at where I want to be? And if I'm not, how can I get there? Right. Before you place in all these unrealistic expectations on your partner or whoever you want to be your partner because to be honest if you don't have anything going for yourself why would somebody who has something going for them want to date you right because at this point now they're lowering their standards right and it's like they could just get somebody who's you on the same page. And, and it's or almost yeah why would i come down no you want me to get up there with me get on my level yeah like for real for real yeah. um yeah. and that's it and that's all like yeah. for real for real, that's what it comes down to yeah. yeah, it's not wrong with wanting somebody that's you know has nice things, but you need to do that. You need to have some nice things as well. And you know, and that's the like. whole thing. Like we're not sending shots to anybody, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Who may not know how to drive. Right. We're not sending no shots to anybody that may live with their mother because right. everybody's situation is different. Okay, but if you just broke down, busted unemployed but you want the world from somebody oh this person needs to drive yeah. they need to have their own car they need to have this but you don't have two pennies to run rub together right no this goes out to you yeah and some people who you know are still if you have all these fucking kids i'm not trying to be ignorant but what are you doing that's yeah get up and let's get it going like unless you have some type of disability <laughs> why are you not you know doing what you need to do you know what I'm saying? Like, get up, let's get it rolling. Because you have people looking at you. Yeah. You got little ones depending on you. So, yeah. Like, you need to be hustling hard to get yourself together. And you don't need to be relying on the next person to do so. Right. I feel like some people are waiting for a meal ticket. Or, you know, waiting for somebody who to save them. Mm -hmm. Save yourself. Yeah. That's the message. You know? I don't know. That's yeah, definitely yeah. the That's message. That's the message. Save yourself, rely on you, you know, because you can reach your goals as well. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Work on self. Yeah, work on self. And the rest will kind of work fall on into self. peace and your place. Be what, what you want. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, be the person you want to be with. Yeah. Like be be the that person. person that you want. And honestly, be. for real, for real, you start to attract what you are, what you become. Yeah, you do. You, you do. know what I mean? For yeah. real, for real, if you was a bum, you won't keep you attracting bums. You won't keep bums. attracting bums. 
If you're toxic, you're going to keep <laughs> attracting that toxic partner. Like, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be like, okay, here's one for you. Because who get what really you wants to take, you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. Some people want, they have that syndrome where they want to take care of a person. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's really has to do with control. But we're not yeah. even going to get into that. Yeah. But typically, that's what that has to do with, have to do with okay? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, typically, that's what happens. But nobody that has shit going on for themselves really want to be dealing with somebody that don't have shit going on. Yeah. Like nothing? Like nothing. At all? Like, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Like, for real, for real. You want to go out, but you ain't got no money. And, and this... <laughs> you want to go out, but you don't have money ever. No. I'm confused. Uh, yeah. Like, and, what? And, yeah, no. Mm -mm. You're brave. <laughs> you're worried about the wrong thing. Like, no, you're man. definitely worried about the wrong thing. Yeah. And and that's the thing. Y'all have crazy lifestyles, but y'all bank account bank account is on negative zero. That's what I'm just understand. Like I don't understand. Like no. Mm -mm. No. Like let's get it. Like you yeah. know what I mean. Like I said, with situations like my situation. Sissy said I do have a job, which I do. Yeah, I told you. Which I do. Like, and that's my whole thing. And yours was different. Like, you left a job because of how you were being treated. True. Sure. And then you got two more. What's the problem with that? Right. We ain't talking about that. We talking about that person who is comfy, cozy without exactly. would not working, and they're trying mm -hmm. to figure out how to work the system so they don't have to work. Well, I was just putting my mm -hmm. disclaimer yeah. out. You know what I mean? For those, like I understand people that you yeah, know. we understand people who are going through a transition period. Uh, yes, that's different than you being comfy, cozy, and content with never working. Right. And you don't plan to, or not. I'm not saying never working, or don't even want to own. You don't want to own a business as well, because you know we know we have entrepreneurs. Absolutely. That work don't stop if you're an entrepreneur. That's like all night. When day. when do we start riding people waves? Like you gotta do what's best for you. Yeah, do what's best for you. Do what you need to do for yourself. Uh -huh. Cause it's nothing like it. Like I don't even understand. You know that whole thing. Like I'm sorry. I have to have something for myself because shit don't last forever. I'm sorry. That's true. And things happen. And you don't ever want to be riding somebody's fucking coattail. And then <laughs> when, you know, shit fall off, then what? Now you just out here. Now you just out here. Back the fucking square one. Don't have shit for yourself. Nothing. Right. That's terrible. And who wants that? I can't. Mm -mm. I don't want to be that girl. Mm -mm. You shouldn't want to be that person either. Right. You know what I mean? Or if you the guy in a relationship, you know, you with a woman and she has all of the things. And then when she's managed when she put you out, where you going? <laughs> Child, that is the. I know that gotta like be fucking annoying. Like, I know. Oh, get out, man! You guys get, get out. Get out! And people have told me this, like you know what I mean. When women, you know, they all good, and then all of a sudden, get my fucking key back. That gotta feel like terrible. How many times you done got kicked yeah. out somebody's house? Mm -hmm. Cause I've been kicked out uh, before at my mom's house, and that felt bad when I was so <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, and I was just, I knew, I was like, you know what, I can get my own place. Cause I never want to have that feeling of somebody saying, oh, get out. Right. You know what I mean? Like, no, I want that control over my life. Like, get out, okay, I'm Gucci. Right. I might be down for a minute, but I'm, I'm cool. You know, let me just make this arrangement so I can get a new place. Hmm. And that's how it should be, just a tr little transition. It shouldn't throw your whole thing out of whack. Right. You know, you should be like, all right. And now I don't know exactly what I need to do, you know? So that's what we're talking about. Like, having those realistic expectations yeah. for who you want to date. Like, be a model of that. And I know. Who I, wants to date you if you're trifling? No, seriously. Who would? And that's that's the whole point of this topic is to turn that mirror towards you. Mm hmm. And like, would you really, honestly, honestly, would date yourself? You and know some things that you, you right, nobody's perfect. So you know, you know some things that you, what you need to work on. Financially, yeah. would you date you? Financially, would you date you? Mentally, mentally, would you, would date, you date you? you? Are you good in here? Yeah. Physically, would you date you? Physically. Like it's 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 a lot that goes yeah. into this. You know what I mean? And you really have to ask yourself, like, am I asking for more? Then I should. Yeah. Realistically. Right. And if you feel like, damn, <clears throat> nah, that ain't it. Maybe the fuck I'm, I'm tripping and maybe right. I shouldn't be. Or maybe you don't want to lower your standard. Do you need to rise the fuck up? Let's rise up to the occasion. You know what I'm saying? You need to be the things that you require. Period. And that's it. And that's all. 
like me i'm not a perfect person like i'm not I'm not done with myself. I'm not done growing. I'm not done evolving. My expectations is only going to get higher, to be completely yeah. honest. <laughs> and, and that's just Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So that's just it. Up. And honestly, I feel like, me personally, I feel like I actually dated lower than what I should have in the past. You know what I mean? Yeah. With certain situations. You know what I mean? It's certain people like that have been in my life that should not never fuck even touch me exactly. before. You get what I mean? We've all been there. Yeah. Where you have lowered yourself. And it doesn't end well. It never it does. end well because you're like, okay, <laughs> I shouldn't even have been messing with such a exactly. boom, boom, boom. Because I already knew. I already knew. I already knew what was up with that. Right. So, mm -mm, go up. Honestly. Definitely go up. You definitely go up. And if that person is really for you and they really want you, they're going to fucking meet you at the top. Period. Or they're going to find a way. Like, they're going to find a way. And then some people, you know, I feel like in a relationship, your partner should inspire you to do better. Absolutely. Like, oh my gosh. Like, let's get it. Let's do this. Let's write our goals down. We know what we want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's right. nothing wrong with that. I love it. I love okay, it. Okay, so, all right. Mm -hmm. So, to switch the gears a little bit. Yeah. If you met somebody mm. and maybe they weren't like technically on your level, right? They was underneath you or whatever. Yeah, you gonna get there. Would yeah. you would you date somebody that was like below your standard? Mm -hmm. Um, I have the I've dated below my standard, you know, or a person where I felt like they could use a little bit of love and care and mm -hmm. motivation. Yes. You know, I've dated and I'm like, okay, because this person has, you know, I know people say don't date off potential, but no, I'm a date off potential because some people, they have that drive, you know, they might just need a push in the right direction. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You right. meet them and you're like, you got so much going on for yourself. Like, why you ain't doing this yet? What's going on? Right. And you just need to light a fire under mm -hmm. some people and they like, and they meet you and the glow up be real. Like mm -hmm. now this person doing big things with you. Right. And they're not the same person. Y'all growing together. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm all for that too. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like this person was so beneath me. No. Right. You know what I mean? I just saw a little bit more potential than they saw within themselves. Like, okay. Listen, and sometimes um, that happens. <laughs> no, you need to, you know, you're good. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What we need to do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of person. Like, you, you need me to write your resume. Which, what's up? Right. You need me to do this. Like, let, let's get it, you know? So that's what I would do with. Like, if I already see that you already trying to your best, like, you might be at right. a job and it might not be as great as I think you mm -hmm. could do. And I'm like, no, let's get you even better. Because this one, I don't think like, they treating you right, right. here. And you deserve more than that. And you're like, you know what? I do. All right, let's get you to the next you know, level. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I've done that before. I definitely feel you on that. Uh, what I will say to that is that, you know, first of all, the, person, the type of person I am, and I like still am, and this is in my character, I want the best for anybody that I'm around. I know that's right. Like anybody that I'm around, whether it's a lover or a friend, I'm going to motivate you yeah. to be the best you you possibly can be. I'm going to push you. I'm going to put you on to some shit. Oh, yeah. oh, if I see a job and it's an opening, I'm going to put you the fuck on. Period. And you have people that could tell you, no, Tia, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, no, that ain't it. I'm going to tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get it. But what I will say is that you can't always do that. Because sometimes if a motherfucker don't want it for themselves, yeah. you can't help them. And that's true. They have to want it They want to have to want that drop. And you'll know if they want it. Because if they don't want it, they're not going to that interview. Right. They're not, you know, trying to fix up resumes and mm -hmm. things like that with you. they just comfortable being mm -hmm. where they're at. And you gotta, you do have to notice that when somebody's just comfortable. Yeah. It's like, okay, you're complacent. I'm good. Like, no. Because there's a lot of people that I see, you know, I know that they could do amazing things. Mm -hmm. I know that they could be great. But if you don't feel that within yourself or see that within yourself, I can't do shit for you. No matter how many apps I tell you, yes. know, help you send out, no matter how, how many interviews I help you right. get, right. if that shit is not in you, it's it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. It ain't in you. It ain't in you. It, it, it is not in you. So to a certain extent, certain extent. I completely agree with you. Yeah. And I, the way I am, I'm just a loyal person, individual, individual, you know. Yes. I can't. My words is just all fucked up. But like, I'm a loyal person. 
Yes, and sir. you know the people I love and care about, like I'm always gonna be on their team and ride for them. But I still am learning. You can't do it for yeah, you. You can't. Like I can lead them horse to the water, but, but you I can't, can't make a drink. drink. Like yes. you, you just can't. For so real. if I'm trying to help you out and like you know help you notice your potential mm -hmm. and it's not connecting, that's where the disconnect is. Exactly. We not gonna work because you don't even exactly. you don't see. Like, yes, like I was saying, this, please, you so. have to want it for yourself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You you have to want that for yourself in order for it to even work or even matter. <laughs> like, for real, for real. Because you could, like you said, you would get somebody to interview, and then they go in there and, like, <laughs> they don't even fit the part. They don't fit the part. And it's, like, because they don't want it, you know? Right. Or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They get in there. Mm hmm get the job okay and then terrible or terrible. like you know what i mean it's just they don't know, they they know how to conduct themselves but but they don't they don't at the same time yeah. exactly yeah you can't certain things now i'm irritated teach. right and it's like because <laughs> like, i done like, got you the job and you ain't here showing the, the fuck off and showing out. that's why i don't refer people <laughs> where i work because they're like oh your job hiring no oh. mm -mm. because if you get in here and act a plum fool no and, and the one you thing you won't be embarrassing me. No, for real. And one thing I don't play, I do not play when it comes to my job. Like we not gonna do that because I, I, my work is amazing. It speaks for itself. Yeah. My name really ring bells wherever I go. I don't know, okay, right. that's how I was able to pull your ass up in here. Right. Let's be clear. So, and then I pull you in there like, yo, what's up with um, like your friend? Your friend. <laughs> now they look at me like, Tia, what type of shit you get into? Yes. Like, who's really good? Like, now you question you got, Exactly. <laughs> you bringing these questionable ass people around here, and then we all look at you as yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So I definitely dig, you know, wanting the best for somebody, but the person ultimately has to want the best for themselves. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And you should want the best for yourself. Like, and that's what we're saying. And that's really day, what we're saying. You should want the best for yourself. Exactly. I feel like it's really crazy of you to be at your lowest point or be on some bum shit and be cool with it, but you want the other person to pretty much carry you. Yeah. Like, you want them to carry you. Like, what? Right. It's not fair. <laughs> that is, and, 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 like, let's be, like, you want all these nice things and want to do all of these nice things, but you don't have money to do none of these things. So now you begging somebody else to do it for you. Let's be clear. <laughs> All that putting your cash app up and you broke, like, that's not cool to me. Nah. Like, why is begging becoming the norm? Like, no, why don't you go get it? Right. I see too many people begging on Instagram and the socials. Like, stop begging and go right. get it. Like, right. No shit. Serious. You just posting your cash app because it's motherfucking Sunday. Yes. And you want uh, some chicken wings. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you're not providing a service. You, you just... provide the service, I can see. Right. You know what I mean? Like, all right, send a donation. You provide the service. Cool. But you're not. You're just on some shit. Like, exactly. I don't, I don't get you it. know what I mean? I see people throw their cash out for their birthdays. Okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. that's one thing. That's cool. That's whatever. one thing. But just to be throwing your cash app out there just because, like, that's bum shit. Yeah, it is. It you're is. not providing a service. If you're providing a service, okay. But you're not. You just want people to send you money. Like, yeah, hey. that's and y'all bold as shit. Because I would never. Like, first of all, I don't even like when people that do know me send me random requests for money on Cash App. Like, first of all, don't ever send me no Cash App requests <laughs> just because. Yeah. Like, we're yeah. not doing it. If you haven't had a conversation with me, don't do no shit like that to me. If you can't call me and say, can I borrow $20, then don't, you don't be send asking. me a request saying, can you send me $20? Like, no. We're not cool like that in the shows. Yeah. You just send in me the And stop calling me on Facebook. No. The answer is no. I'm not giving you no money. And like, stop hurting. Stop asking me for shit I can't ask you for. <laughs> Could not ask you for anything. That's like that's dead. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And we man. might be getting off a of subject but just a little not. bit, but it needed to be said. And I said what I said. Stop asking me for shit that I cannot ask you for. Exactly. Okay. I can't even come to you for Stop nothing. Stop asking people for money if you don't <laughs> have no fucking intentions on returning it. Oh my gosh, that is a word right there. That's a word. Please and thank you. You don't, and this is not bro at this point. You might as well just say, can I have $20 or can I have whatever it is? And I have no intentions on giving it and back. And I'm not giving it back. <laughs> Burn. Honestly. Please. Like, it's yeah. getting ridiculous at this fucking point. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. 
Thank you. Like, what was it the other day? This is random. But the other day, probably like a week or so ago, I had somebody freaking ask me for $60 on Facebook. And this is a person, I'm sorry, but this is a person that tries to pursue me. A grown ass man. A grown, I mean a grown ass man. A whole man. grown man. Asked me for $60. And I'm just looking at this message like. Like, is he serious? Is he for real? Like, okay. And then y'all say it was what? And then he <laughs> said it was, oh, somebody hit his profile. He so told somebody hex him. So Nobody he told somebody, oh, don't don't respond to that. Don't pay that no mind. But mind you, the person asked a couple times, and I feel like you asked a couple times, <laughs> and then when you noticed that I was not responding, then you said, oh, somebody hacked somebody your hit page. You. Yeah, no. But like, no. Mm -mm. First of all, I don't know you. You know what I mean? And I feel like, and it, 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 it's me too. I would never ask a random stranger. For money. Oh, no. That's just like, and I feel like a grown ass man should not be asking me for no money. Yeah, that was crazy. Is it like we're not in no type, you're not family to me? You ain't you ain't no kin of mine. You ain't no friend of mine. What makes you say no? I'm just no, <laughs> no, but for real, you're not my family. You're not my friend. You're not my man. I don't Why worry. are you asking me for money? Talking about can I have? Why is that cool with you? That's not okay. Sir. So yeah, <laughs> get it, get out here and get it. Anybody get can, out here and get it. I respect the hustle, you know what I mean? Get out here and get it. Because that bum shit is not cute. Right. It's not cute. <laughs> I feel like, and, and, and ultimately, like, if you're dating somebody that is like, okay, they got money or whatever, they want to be treated nice too. They want to be pampered. Right. Yeah, if you got a little baller, boo. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if, like, they're, what did, what did he say? Top tier. Top tier. Okay. A top tier gentleman. Yes. If he got money, he likes to be treated, too. He right. likes to be spoiled every now and again. And you can spoil him in different yeah. ways. Yeah. So. You can definitely spoil him in different ways. But I feel like, you know, have something. Yes. Bring something to the yeah. table. Please, please. Those people we was probably talking about, and you probably can't cook. You probably don't clean. Right. But you're, you're it's like, what are you? I'm confused. Yeah, y'all have yeah, to. We cool. have to bring something to the table. And you know, the men, the male role and female role is a little different. I mean, I understand that this world has changed the mm -hmm. dynamic of you know right. the roles. You know. Yeah, some people don't adhere to that. They don't really like the gender roles, but at the same time, you know, the man is supposed to be the provider. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that, that's just what it is. Yeah. That, that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the women, we're the nurturers. You know what I mean? We're loving, caring, supportive. We feed you. Like, we give you that love and... You know, that will to go out and do what you got to do for your family. Like, that's Period. what we are. You know what I mean? That's how it's supposed to be. So, I get that. And some whoever lives by that, I don't argue with it. I don't disagree with it. Yeah. One thing also, what I will say is, however you live your life, that's your business. As far yeah. as, like, if you're in a relationship and your man don't want you to work, that's your business. That's your business. You get what I'm saying? You like it, I love it. That that's what I'm saying. But what what we're saying in this video is more so um sim to people that are single. And, and if you're not single, let's like, get it, get up and get it. <laughs> it ain't cool just because you got a boo to be a bum. Well, some people some people like it that way for their own. Reason. And let me be clear, like just because you're at home and you're, you know, doing, you might have an understanding that you're a stay at home person. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a bum. You could have, you know, you could be going to school. You could be doing this oh, and that. Right. You know, the home could be taken care of. I'm not saying that, but just right. to just to not be doing anything. <laughs> if y'all had an arrangement, you're not even holding up. You're in in the house. Right. What are you doing? That yeah, that is another thing as well. You have to be bringing something to the table. You can't just be here at the table. Yeah, if you want, you stay home, your man. And you ain't yeah, I just, it. No, you're not bringing You stay home, your man wants you to stay home. But he expects you to be doing them dishes. You know what I'm saying? Laundry, cook. And since you you making these noodles, not even. Yeah. A bowl of cereal and get out here working hard. Come on now. Come right. on, sis. 
or whoever, get it together. Get it together. Like, that's my whole thing. Like, be about something. Yeah. Like, and be that's about something. Much it. Yeah, that was, that was. Yeah. Would you date yourself? Would you date you? Would you at date the end you? of the day? Would you date, would you, date you? you? In your current state right now, we ain't talking about <clears throat> what you plan on being. Right. Excuse me. But in your current state right in now. In your current state now, would you date you? Would you date you? you? Period. Let us know. Leave those, the, leave those comments, okay? Let us know what your situation is. Would you date yourself? Would you date you? And be realistic and be honest. Because like I said, there's some things that I probably wouldn't yeah. want to date about myself. You know there's some I mean? things too. Like, I'm not perfect. But, you know, overall. Yeah. I would date myself. Yeah. But, you know, nobody is perfect. I don't understand that. But I'm not, like, a bum. So, <laughs> I would I would <laughs> definitely date myself. First of all, I'm a boss. Period. I'm a boss chick. But I'm also loving. See, that's another thing, too. Like, I feel like when you're an alpha female, we get, like, bad Do you consider yourself an alpha female? I feel like I am an alpha female. Um, but I'm submissive when I feel comfortable. I don't know that's right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I need a strong presence. Like, I need a strong man in order for me to... To be submissive? Be submissive. Like, I'm right. very cuddly. Like, I'm... I want to love all over my man. Like, that's, that's just said. how I am. Like, my thing is, in my work, I feel like I'm so, like, you know, in their role. And I have to dictate this and tell somebody to do that. Like, I'm the leader. Right. In my relationship, mm -hmm. I want my man to be the leader. I, and I'm I want to you. follow my man's lead. And that's what I do. Absolutely. But I need to be comfortable but you do doing be com yeah. stuff. You have to be comfortable. Because where you lead me to? Yes. Yes, I'm a big cuddly. Like, I want to be all over my man, rubbing him and giving him kisses. Aww. And yes, yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm about that. And me, I'm so bossy. <laughs> like, if you're not taking on that role, I'm like, uh uh. I'm not following you nowhere. <laughs> like, you have to come with that presence. Like, right. you have to. And I'm like, okay. Yes. It's yeah. just something about it. And I feel like, let's get back to that. Can women be women and men be men? Ooh, girl, that's a whole other talk for a whole other chat <laughs> cheese. You already know. <laughs> yes. Oh, my Child gosh. Cheese. That would be nice. But yes, <laughs> leave those comments. Let us know how you feel about this video. Would you date you? Okay. Also, we still have our email, bigmamaenergy at gmail.com. right here. Go ahead and leave those emails. We need those topics to come pouring in, okay? Let us know what you guys want to hear, okay? We're pushing out more content every week. We have some big things coming for mm -hmm. you guys. And we just want to hear from you guys, our viewers. We need to know our supporters. You guys are our supporters. And we appreciate you. And we want to give you what you want. Okay? With that being said, let us know. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Bye, Bye. guys.